Hi, this is Jay Payleitner, best-selling author, speaker, dad, husband, and family encourager. We are uh, reading excerpts from my new book, 52 Ways to Connect as a Couple. This chapter, I may need to deliver in code in case there are a little ears listening. Couples need to put romance on the calendar. Now, that's not to say that you should write exclamation points or big smiley faces on that calendar that hangs on your fridge. Please don't do that. But, but do, on occasion, schedule romance a few days in advance. Now, you may think that that kind of activity should be spontaneous, but life sometimes distracts you from what's important, and, and planning has definite advantages. The benefits are many. There's anticipation. If a husband knows for sure that he's going to have some quality time with his bride on Friday night, then no matter what, Friday is a good day. He can lose a business deal or get yelled at by the boss, but it's okay. He still knows the day is going to end well. There's appreciation. A day or two in advance, the two of you will actually be a little nicer to each other. Extra chores might be done around the house or, or tokens of affection may appear. There's a sense of gratitude and, and devotion in the air. When you put a romance on a calendar, there's creativity. A confirmed date leads to confidence. Confidence leads to the freedom to be a bit more creative, and uh, we'll, we'll leave that to your imagination. There's also preparation, a, a nice meal, fresh linens, new lingerie, a relaxing bath, candles, music. Preparation may even include things like trimming your toenails. And then there's the follow-through, keeping the date. Now, of course, something may come up, a kid gets sick, or the roof starts to leak. Even the best plans get sidetracked. And, I, of course, he will probably be more disappointed than she is. But, gentlemen, we are not animals. Cuddle up next to her and let her know it's perfectly okay. And then set another date for tomorrow night or the next or the next. Maybe take a hint from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love.